So as you can see behind me, I had the kayaks all loaded up this morning to do some fishing. I was going to take Dylan with me. He decided that uh, he wanted to ditch his little six foot kayak and step up to the big boys and do some fishing. Unfortunately when we got down there the wind was blowing pretty bad and I mean yeah he's in a bigger kayak but he's still only seven. So he was a little hesitant to get on the water after looking at the sea. So we look, we didn't unload. We decided to come back home. So uh, what I did do is I finished up some video editing on a, a trip I took down to Panama. Basically put this one together with my travel to get down there. Um, and then the biggest fish that I caught. So I hope you guys kind of like it and enjoy it. Um, it's not really what I wanted to do today, but it's what I got. Another thing. Um, so... About a month or two ago, I get a call from this old Navy buddy of mine. We've been friends for like 20-some years. And he's like, hey, man. He's like, uh, my kid's been watching these videos on YouTube of this guy down in Pensacola catching these big fish. And he's like, I sit there and start watching it, and I'm like, hey, I know that guy. That's an old Navy buddy of mine. So what I'm going to say right now to my buddy Troy. Actually, this is going out to his son Lane, who's the one that watches. Tell your dad, get off your butt. Come down to Florida. Let's go catch some real fish instead of wasting your time with those little, little catfish and crappie, all right? All right, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so we just landed and got the van, right? To, to head for the, we hope, we hope we're heading to the right hotel. We don't know. Uh, they repeated the same thing we said, threw all our gear in a van and off we go. We just got like severely attacked by baggage handlers at uh, at the at the airport. They grabbed all our stuff and just like whisked it through customs. And I don't even know if we're here legally right now. I mean, <laughs> It's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but and then they're like, tip my friend, tip, tip, tip. I'm like, this is nuts. So we finally had to wrestle our bags away from these guys and then get them put in the van. It cost and him twenty bucks. It cost him twenty bucks to get his bags back. Like basically. I mean, this is this is crazy. So <sighs> we're heading to the hotel. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We hope we hope we have rooms. <laughs> so Guys. So far, it's been a pretty interesting trip so far. <laughs> okay, now we just pulled up to some random hotel, and they said they need like five bucks to reset the machine. We think it's like the Easy Pass. We think. Um, we don't know. So now we're kind of driving and leaving the other guy. I'm confused. I hope we make it alive. If somebody finds us. Fifteen each? Do you have change? No, yeah. man. Huh? How far is it? It's a 20 minutes. Wow. I, I pay the... I pay the highway five bucks. Five bucks? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what we just did. We just pretend to go That's a good way. It's 20 minutes. Alright, I guess we're 20 minutes away from the hotel. Ah, there we go. This should be fun. Should be fine. Sketchy one. Sketchy two. Yeah, right? And that's the best view I've seen. Alright, so we just got to the hotel and we just met the owner of the resort that we're going to in Los Buzos. And this is Morris Palmer. Tell us a little bit about um, Kind of your resort and what you're what we're gonna do and the kind of fishing we can expect. Well we're gonna we're gonna hang out beside the beach, we're gonna paddle out every day, 
You can drink all the free beer you want, and if you know what you're doing, you're going to catch some big monster fish. Monster fish. And even if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get tons of little ones. Yeah, we got rooster fish, been caught and released up to 80 pounds. Cuberas, been mostly released, but a few of them have been caught up to 50, 60 pounds by kayak. We just got our first 50 plus pound grouper this week. We've had a 400 plus pound marlin hooked and kept on for about 15 minutes before it pulled the guy. Um, we catch Sierra snapper, a Sierra mackerel, 25 pounds or great uh, oh Boholo, which is now a <laughs> jack. Um, I haven't, I haven't caught any of these fish before, so it's going to be a great time. So if you guys ever get down to Panama, come talk to Morris. Morris will hook you up. He'll get some fish. Stay tuned for the videos. It's going to be pretty epic. Okay, we're on to the next phase of the trip. Now we are on the bus for a six-hour ride through the jungle. All right, so we finally made it out here to the resort. They got the pangas set up here. It's for the mother, mothership trips. We can see the sun's going down behind me. The ocean is nice and calm. In the morning, we're gonna head out to those rocks and further. And uh, that's where the action is supposed to start. So we're gonna do our little brief in the morning about the area, finish getting everything rigged up. And about noon is when the tide's gonna be right. We're gonna hit it. So stay tuned. All right, just got launched out into the Pacific Ocean. Got my main man, Jose Gonzalez, back here. Today we're on a mission to do some damage to the rooster and uh, Cabrera snapper population of this place. So, they got a couple yesterday. Let's go do some work. Blue Runner was going crazy a minute ago, bounced a couple times. Something. God damn. Hit the bottom again. No, that's a fish, I think. No, that's a fish. Oh! I'm on! I'm on! God! Oh. No, 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 there he is. Oh, he came back. Oh. Well, he came back to it. Oh. Whatever this is, is a fucking brute of a fish. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Dude, this fish is strong. Whatever it is, oh my god. Oh, it's like taking the rod in the water. Whatever it is directly below me. Greg just got a ginormous rooster. I haven't had a beating like this and someone stuck a banana down my pants and let a monkey loose. <laughs> <laughs> Greg putting it to him. Oh my god, I see that silver. He's going under the kayak. Woo! Big, big, big one. Hell yeah, way to go, Greg! Yeah, buddy, get him. On the blue runner? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Just kind of chilling there. Yeah. He hit it and let it go. 
and then I was like, damn! <laughs> <laughs> nice. They give it their absolute all, and then they completely give up. Yeah. You got it. You got probably about a minute left. <laughs> big boy. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a big rooster. Big rooster. Greg here from Pensacola. Hooked up big. Oh yeah, there are no pushovers, buddy. Adam says it's a very big one, and if Adam says it's big, I know it's big. And Greg here is not a small dude, and he's uh he's struggling, looks like. <laughs> Oh yeah, going for a Panamanian sleigh ride. Yeah, bull rides can fly in Pensacola, but this is uh, another level here. That's what I was saying in the video. I was like, that 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 tarpon I caught didn't fight like this. It just swam till it got tired. This dude's trying to go down. He's trying to. He's going straight down. Tarpon will run from you. Yeah. The big one, the big one. Yeah. I mean, this is oh, this is probably the toughest fight from a kayak I've ever had, man. Toughest fight from a kayak he's ever had. This guy fishes in Pensacola, big bull reds, big tarpon. It's hard to compare to a big, big rooster, man. I think my sweat is sweating. My sweat is sweating. Oh, man. Love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't joking. All right, now how do I, should I lip grip him or tail grab him or what? Inside the gill. Inside the gill? Not to be landed. Oh my. Slam him up. Inside the gill is safe. God. Yeah, inside the gill, his fingers pointed out the mouth. Yeah. Grab him tight. One side of the gill. Bring him up. Oh yeah, buddy. He's about done. Oh yeah. Touch the leader. Touch the leader. Get him. Oh, okay, touch the leader. <laughs> watch your drive. Watch your mirage drive. Keep your pedals apart. Push one pedal forward. Oh, there you go. He's on, he's on your drive. Yeah. Pull your drive up. Pull your drive up. Oh, God. How's this thing come up? And yank him up. Oh yeah, dude, that's a beast. That's a beast. Yeah! Beast! Yeah! Oh! Woo! Oh. 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 All right. Mark, right, you gonna come get some video before I cut him loose? Swallowed that shit, man. I'm getting a bunch of video, Mark, and I mean, you're welcome to everything I got from this. Okay. Oh. Go. I'm trying not. I'll just either that or lose your knife. I don't care. <laughs> lose the knife. It's like, F that go. knife, man. Where did you go? Watch the rod. Oh. Watch the rod. <laughs> Look at that beast, man. Oh, wow. oh, I can't even. Ah! Ah! Oh, no, don't, don't, don't come back up. Don't come back up. He gone, dude. No, he'll come back up. He gone. Maybe. He gone, dude. No, he'll come back up. Way to go, brother. Plenty of video. There he is. There he is. Oh, he's up. My drive's not in. Uh, somebody go get him. Got him. You got him from the front? Yeah, we got him in the front. 53 to the fork? 52 and a half? 52 and, yeah, 52 total, and a half. Total 60 or 61? Uh, looks like pinched, uh, yeah, 61, 62. Alright, remember that. 52 so, and a half? 
61 and a half, we'll say. Okay. Oh my God. Oh man. That's a big fish. Oh. Blue runner, bro. <laughs> that ended up being a 50, 53 inch fish to the fork. Those blue those. <laughs> Dude, I'm spent, bro. Oh my god. Which reel? That, that pin every spin fisher, man. Those things ain't no joke, bro. They work. <laughs> He's like, Greg's out here with spinning gear. Hell yeah. Gotcha, bitch. By far, one of the toughest fighting fish I've ever fought. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Back to the beach. All right, so that happens. When you get there, if you see what they're doing, you're supposed to jump out. Well, some rough waves were coming. When I jumped out, I went straight to the bottom. It was uh, a lot deeper than it was supposed to be. But we're back on shore now. I think I did it just right. My battery's about to die. I'm gonna put this bad boy in a the charger, then go review some footage. I'll see you at dinner. Hey, Pat. What, what season? Weren't we supposed to be here in the dry season? It's the dry season. The dry season of Panama. What sort of water were we in? About 70? About 70. He brought yeah. his Cajun showers with us. He brought his Cajun yeah. showers. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, no, no, so, don't blame it on the Cajun. Yeah. So, this, this is the dry season of in Panama. They told us, don't worry about rain the whole time you're here. Dry season. Been like this for like two days. <laughs> So words cannot describe the experience that I had down in Panama. It was amazing. It was like six days of just fishing. I was catching snapper and all kinds of trigger fish and big jack revels. We were uh, cabrera snapper, uh, big rooster fish. Uh, we had yellowfin tuna just about every night for dinner or with dinner. Fresh uh, sashimi, um, pan seared. I mean, it was it was all delicious. All the beer you could drink. It was so good. Um, Morris and Adam Fisk run a top-notch operation down there. I'd like to thank Adam, Mark De La Rosa, and Robert Field for capturing all the footage. Uh, it was a blast, and I went down with a great group of guys. We were all either at one point active duty, retired veterans, and um, I, di I just can't even... I'm going to go back in May. I've already talked with Ivy Harris, who was there, a.k.a. the Urban Legend. Um, he's the one that organized that whole trip for us. So we're going to go back again in May and hit it up. And this time, hopefully, I don't have a hard drive crash. All right, thanks.